How's it going everyone? Carol Stay here, welcome back to another episode of Clit Zone Hall. Uh, bear with me, I completely forgot to record this, so I've read my comics and it's been about a week uh, later, and that's because I'm still not editing the episodes, I haven't got a computer yet, and yeah, I'm telling you this because <laughs> you're not going to realise until I actually upload the video, so let's get to it. Alright everyone, to start off with, we got issue 40 of Batman Beyond, we finally learned the truth of... Uh, Batwoman, uh, spoiler alert, it's uh, Dick Grayson's daughter, which I completely forgot she was in this comic. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a you know, a good twist. And I did say in my last episode that I wasn't going to be following DC, Marvel uh, comics anymore. But I'm more, I want to follow them, but I might do like online reading for them. I'm going to cancel all my subscriptions for Marvel and DC. I think I've only got Venom and... Batman Beyond and the Punisher. Uh, I've actually started catching up again. I've finally organised the comics in a way that I can now read because I, I always did it in chunks and I'd sort of get uh, burnt out. But it's just there's so many issues in the series. I mean, Harley Quinn's up to like 69 or something, I think. So I quit. I mean, it's only because the story was really bad, in my opinion. And yeah, I'm going to continue on, but I'm just not going to get the physical copies. I mean, I'm enjoying Batman. I mean, there and beyond, really... I'll wait and see. I'll see what happens, because I am enjoying this series. All right, I've just done that speech, and I'm going to, you know, rip through that. Uh, Batman Curse of White Knight, issue six? 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 Yeah. Um, I should have probably said, you know, anything like this, I will get. You know, Batman Ninja Turtles, I love six issue series, uh, the Batman White Knight series, six issues, I'm going to focus on them rather than, you know, a long running series, but mind you, with these, I can just wait for the trade paperback, so that's what I might do with these ones. Uh, good, this one, uh, it's two more issues, I think. I right, continue on, because I actually really enjoyed the last issue, and I like the idea that she's going around playing dynamite characters. Uh, we've got Betty Page, Unbound Issue 2. She was Vampirella in this one, which was really awesome, and she's really funny. I'm actually quite, you know, charmed by Betty Page. Continuing on with the lovely Vampirella, Issue 7, really cool. Finally got the next issue, Issue 8 of Red Sonja and Vampirella, meet Betty and Veronica. Really, really cool. I think this is probably... Can I really say for this year or last year, uh, probably one of my favourite series, uh, like my number one at the moment, like for last year and this year. I just I'm having so much fun with these, you know, this group. Uh, last issue, issue four of the Mask. This was actually pretty, a pretty good read. Something different, and yeah, if you like sort of the dark thriller atmosphere like thing. I mean, this is no way near like Jim Carrey the Mask. It's very dark, and yeah, if you like that kind of thing, it's definitely for you. It's almost like Watchmen. Think of the mask in Watchmen in a way. It's sort of like that. All right, we've got an indie one. I, I'm, I got get my Vacant Queen. Thought you'd that one a go. Yeah, didn't really like it. Yeah, it was all right. I do like to give things like that a go. I'll get the first issue. And if I don't like it, it doesn't matter. It's just one issue. All right, I got three of these issues. If you know me, and you can guess this, you are a star. We've got. Red Sonya and Chaos. And I got three issues because I love that issue. I really love that one. Not the issue, other covers. That one's really awesome. So sexy and gorgeous. And this one just looks really awesome. <laughs> it just looks cool. So yeah, really good this one. It's like all these people trying to, if I remember, get this uh, medallion, I think. And Red Sonya, she's like, oh, now shit's going to go down. It's like the person behind it is like telling everyone, you're the rightful ruler. No, you're the rightful ruler. So all these people are fighting each other while this one person's like, dance, puppets, dance. Uh, I've been into the Star Wars mood lately. Uh, I really enjoyed TIE Fighter. Really enjoyed uh, Darth Vader, uh, I think, just Target, Darth Vader Target. Really good, so I thought I'd give another one a go. Uh, Star Wars, Vader, Dark Visions. Uh, it was okay. I quite enjoyed it. I might get the second issue, see how that one is. It's... It's almost like short stories in a way. It's like he come onto this planet, he crashed, and there was like this tribe, and this boy sees him. He's like, oh, he's the Black Knight. He's, he slayed the beast that's been terrorizing us. But I quite, I like more, you know, story going comics rather than reading it as if, you know, someone's witnessed it and then they're telling someone else. That If you know what I mean? So that's what this one was like. But it, it was good. I, I might, it's not bad. It's just, it's my personal preference. I don't like 
that kind of style. I'd rather be the witness, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm reading it, witnessing it, rather than reading it through someone else's point of view. If that, like I said, makes sense. I'll continue on, but issue two of Star Wars. Yeah, this is a really good series. Um, if I recommend one, give it a go. Like I said in the previous episode, it's the events right after uh, the Empire Strikes Back. So Luke has his hand missing. They're trying to plan to get Han rescued. And yeah, really, really good. All right, we got another random one, and yeah, really, really good. I enjoyed it. Issue one of The Rising Sun. It's really, uh, it's like Avatar, and this is going way back. I forget, like in the seventies or sixties. Uh, Monkey Magic. If any of you know what that show is, it's it's like these warriors. They're journeying and you know, going on adventures and. If I remember, it was they slayed a dragon, one of their people were hurt, and then they... I forget the end now. Like I said, it's been a week since I read them, and I actually quite liked it. It's really cool. Alright, last but not least, i got Vol 2 of Demon Slayer. I am really enjoying this series. I might try and get the anime going. You know, I just read the first one, loved it. This one, I'm only halfway through. I'm still going through it, but yeah, really good. I'm enjoying it a lot. I mean... I just, it's really weird with me. When I first started this series, it was like I was reading Marvel and DC Hero Comics. Then I moved on to Dynamite, which is really, you know, an awesome series. Now I've moved on to Mangas. <laughs> it's like, you know, different sagas of my, you know, series. It's really cool. Alright, everyone, that's an end to this Clear Zone haul. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later.